our right. first game of the night, Aaron, four corners. Awesome, the first game of the night is going to be four corners. <coughs> Let's see how it works. From you guys, these are our actors. We're going to need four words. So where is the first place that you fell in love? Or the only place? Because I only have one love. Jesus Christ. Prague. <laughs> Prague. You guys have Prague. Sweet. Can I please have your favorite food that is not Italian? Ice cream. Ice cream. You guys get ice cream. For you guys, can I please get an article of clothing that's not a shirt? Scarf. A scarf, thank you. <laughs> and for these two lovely gentlemen, can I please have a college that isn't Emerson, Harvard, or Yale? UMass. Brown. Brown. We'll take Brown. Because it sounds like poop poop. All right, let's review. Uh, Prague. Prague. I'll scream. Ice cream. <laughs> scarf. <laughs> Brown. Brown. All right. Awesome. Switch and begin. Always been my dream. I I got the letter in the mail from my grandfather, rest his soul, and, and it said I'm taking you to Prague. And unfortunately, he couldn't be here with me. But because he's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's dead. Right. Mar Marcel, he's dead. <laughs> but he did pay for this trip so generously, and he wrote in, in the letter that it was his dream for me to fall in love and uh, you know really just absorb the Czech Republic in all its glory. Yeah, I never liked him much. Switch! Julie, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? Mom said to buy, me, buy you an ice cream. It's not my fault. You're so clumsy. What? It's... It was cannoli flavor. I, <laughs> I don't make the rules that Mom makes. I just enforce the rules that Mom makes. I got ice cream. You got ice cream. Your ice cream's right there. You're a little grade grubber, you know that? Mom doesn't even give good grades. <laughs> Switch! I'm making mom cookies for her birthday. Oh, that's great. I got her a scarf. You can't buy her a gift. That's cheap. <laughs> I thought she liked it. We were at H&M. She pointed to a scarf. She said, I like this scarf. I thought it would be like a, a good son thing to do. Yeah, but where's the personal thing? Like, I made this for you. That's what she really loves. This cost $200. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Antoine, what color? Is this this sweater? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's kind of teal, but you can go with turquoise. Thank you. That, that's really that's Antoine. <laughs> that is not the answer I was looking for. Slimming. <laughs> you know how sensitive I get on my birthday, because that was the day where Grandpa would always take me aside and he would tell me, you're my favorite granddaughter. <laughs> yeah! Go figure! I don't like the bastard. <laughs> awesome parties. He would throw you those awesome parties. You got the bounce house. You got the Power Ranger who showed up to your party. Do you know what I got? I got Nancy, the paraplegic clown who lived next door in a trailer. Julie, I'm sorry. What do you want from me? Tony said to pick up your wedding cake. I picked up your wedding cake. There it is. Okay, it was. it's a nice dress. How nice is it? It's really nice. She wears it every day. Alexander McQueen sewed it himself. Yeah, it's nice, but I just, I'm just trying to be a good son here, and, and those, those macaroons look great. Yeah, there's a little burn on the bottom, but I think it's just a light one. Switch! <laughs> Try brown. It's slimming. It's tight. It's, brown's definitely the brown color. Brown's the color of poo-poo. Switch! <laughs> So someday I can discover our family lineage and I can learn all about our amazing grandfather. You know what, Nancy? 14 years ago when we went to Prague together, I made a decision. Do you know what that decision was? Oh, uh, to hate me forever because my mom named us after the paraplegic clown? me! <laughs> <laughs> Next is Adeline. It is a game that we're going to take the lines that you guys wrote on some pieces yes. of paper and incorporate it into the scene. And uh, yeah, they're going to read the line and have to justify it. Can we have a word? Can we have a word? What is it? <laughs> a super word that is it? A real word! <laughs> Food? 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 <laughs> I'm uh, a searcher, and I'm, I'm 
been told that you uh, have some answers. You have come to me to learn the dark art of voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I must say, my son, I am, I am glad you have discovered my other credentials because this is intro to pottery. <laughs> oh my god, it's so embarrassing. It I... is fine, my son. I am always happy to do the extracurricular work. Okay, okay, so, I mean, oh, academic logistics, like scheduling. Oh, there is no scheduling. There is only voodoo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, um, when I wanted to know voodoo, thus, he ever stated, in your eyes, it's like the first five minutes of Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> you know the voodoo incantation. <laughs> How do you know the secret of voodoo? You are an advanced voodoo learner. Well, I know a little bit. You know, How do you know every voodoo incantation involves a Tom Hanks movie? <laughs> YouTube, you know, you just type in voodoo, Tom Hanks, and see what comes up. It's what we all did in the beginning. <laughs> I once gave a blowjob to a dry clitoris. <laughs> I feel you have the right to know everything about me, my son. It is I who must learn from you. Thank you for sharing. I, I feel so touched. I mean, my, my sexual history is complicated. But there is no dry clitoris. There is only food. <laughs> that feels like a really wide statement that's a metaphor for something. Oh, it is a metaphor for something. Do you know what it is a metaphor for? No, I, I it's, it's voodoo. You should be catching on. <laughs> I'm still impressed, but it's generally if I say something is a thing, it is voodoo. <laughs> a doll that I could sort of practice on? There's a, a doll? Yes, we have many voodoo dolls here. I give you this voodoo doll. Okay. Just, just so you know. Uh, this is so not Narnia. <laughs> I don't know if you have practiced on the Narnian voodoo dolls. I do not know what your level of experience is. We do have an Aslan. Hello, Professor. Uh, I was just stopping by. Um, heard some funny things about uh, some voodoo practice. Uh, some, some pottery, you mean? You hear some things about some pottery going on here. Yeah, well, ostensibly pottery, but, you know, the PTA's been... Oh, voodoo uh, and pottery, they are very similar words. Okay, listen, Alfred. I said to the, you this last time. My man calls me, and then I call her, and she just never calls me back. <laughs> so explain you that. Say that to me. Uh, we've been working on answering your calls. I don't want to interrupt any, any personal history here. I am just, I am professor, I do not have tenure yet. I am still working on pottery, I, I just don't, uh, maybe. It's actually because of the tenure that I'd like to speak to you about this. Um, really? You know, at the committee is very interested in all the extracurriculars that are going on here. Mm. I've heard people saying, uh, Manny as a spe sexually ambiguous merman. <laughs> um, there are rumors. About Manny. I <laughs> think it was sexually ambiguous, but the merman, that was ambiguous. Oh, never sexually ambiguous, but the merman, yes. <laughs> so, anyway, we like to keep the occult out of our school. Whether it's voodoo, whether it's merman. No, I just, I just teach impassioned pottery. Pottery with, with yeah. voodoo dolls, and pottery with voodoo influences. Weird, and sometimes we do screenings of Tom Hanks movies. They inspire the pottery. <laughs> Listen, all right. There's been a lot of controversy over this school for a variety of reasons. We're just trying to keep things on a low profile. I don't honestly care if you're doing voodoo, but keep it on the down low. <laughs> Bananas can't fly. <laughs> My penis, however, <laughs> it can <laughs> fly. Such a wizard, such a voice. I just, I feel this is very exactly open. what I'm talking about. See, a behavior like this is just not going to go over right, well. We're making right. news. All right, what if I told you that maybe there is a view, just a little bit of voodoo, not a lot of voodoo, acceptable amounts of voodoo that maybe you could use for personal gain? It's not okay, but she don't know no better. <laughs> <laughs> by round of applause, uh, we are going to decide who leaves. And then those two people have to do that scene again, and then again, and then one person has to do the scene. Mm -hmm. uh, so before we start this, can I get uh, a reason for going on a date with someone? Divorce. All right. Uh, so that's <laughs> divorce. Uh, so what exactly is going on between you and my husband? 
<laughs> Listen, it's it's much more complicated than it could possibly oh, look yeah, like. Yeah. And when I say complicated, I, I mean genuinely complicated. I mean this is not something that just is normal. It's, <laughs> it's not. Is it fair? It's something else? It absolutely. Okay, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. My relationship with yeah. your husband, it's uh... Well, howdy! What can I get you, fellas? <laughs> uh, I, I'll have the Caesar salad. Caesar and, and a cup of coffee. Uh, Just coffee, please? Coffee it is. Be back in five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's friendly, unlike <laughs> you. Okay. Your, your husband has been like a father to me. The father I never had. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and strong and comforting. And okay. very old. <laughs> and uh, grizzled. 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 Ancient. And something in me responded to the grizzled. It's hot. <laughs> I'll take this. Okay. I, you sort of... I Dumbledore, like, you look into his... More like Hagrid, if anything. <laughs> look into that scruffy, wrinkled face, and I see the father I never had. He's, uh, it's, it's a hideous face, no, but I know. so many fathers are hideous. And I think that is possibly why I felt myself irrevocably drawn to him. Hey, I get it now. You do? We're on good terms. Like brothers. Scene! All right, so uh, by round of applause, uh, should Nick be the one who leaves? <laughs> should Noah be the one who leaves? <laughs> should Anthony be the one who leaves? Woo! <laughs> All right, I'm it's me. Get back, you Nick? Oh. Okay. So what exactly is going on between you and my husband? It's very complicated. It's it's it very extremely. Okay. I can't even okay. begin to. Hey, hi. May I take your order? <laughs> uh, Caesar salad and coffee. And uh, I'll just have a uh, steak. <laughs> <laughs> so looking into his eyes, those ancient. It's crumbling, grizzled, Dumbledore-esque. Yes. <laughs> it's been like a father figure. I understand that. He's uh, very uh, wise and venerable. Soothing. And he's old, crusty, ancient, Hagrid. Here you go, everybody. <laughs> um, just I look into that face and I see the old decrepit, hideous man that I never knew. Hey, I get it now. Like brothers. Like brothers. And scene. So by round of applause, should Nick be the one who leaves? Or should Noah be the one who leaves? Okay, bye, Nick. <laughs> Will you please tell me exactly what is going on with it, but with the, you and my husband? <laughs> it's very complicated. It's extremely. I cannot even. It's easy. It's complicated. <laughs> May I take your order? I'll take a Caesar salad. Uh, we have a cup of coffee. And a steak. All right. <laughs> it's, I see the father figure. It's the father figure I never knew. It's it's uh it's yeah it's very wise, very venerable. He's old. He's decrepit. <laughs> Hang off of him. He's an old old man. Like brothers. Okay, this is a game called Sun Doubles. Um, so we're going to have a scene, and um, at a critical juncture in the scene, uh, well, you'll see what happens. The scene will stop. We'll have stunt doubles. It, it'll, it'll make sense. This is stunt doubles anyway. So can I have a uh, yeah, a task? Parking. Ooh, no. Vacuuming. <laughs> vacuuming. I like vacuuming. I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> um, hey, hey, Marion, you, could you take the headphones off for it? What? I'm so, it's just it's loud enough without the singing. Just without the, uh, I I know. James, we're cleaning banks. 
from midnight to 6 a.m. This is the shittiest job ever. I'm going to listen to whatever music I want. I just, I, I really, I just kind of, I, I really like to get into the zen of the sound of the humming vacuum cleaner, Marion. If you bring up your philosophy one more goddamn time, James. You can be a Taoist and a vacuuming guy at the same time, okay, Marion? I don't... Stop! Can I see that with stunt doubles? <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody's back. <laughs> I don't believe in the one way that you talk it's about the, the woo male way, Marion. <laughs> woo way, action <laughs> through inaction. It's a, look. I'm not okay. Look, if I, I gave you Lapsu's book. If you want to read it on your own time, that's great. That's fine. Whatever. I actually have an audio book, which would not be as loud. I used up to clean. I used it to clean up the blood in the bathroom. Quite honestly, and you really need to start cleaning up after yourself. We already have like twenty people who go through this bank a day. Not that many. It's a really. So no, I get no sleep. Do about that, oh, Mary. Please. All right, let's have that with stunt doubles. <laughs> <laughs> this patch here, Mary. I'm just trying to show you how to vacuum because you may have all these grandiose ideas about religion, but have you ever really vacuumed? Have you ever really felt the vacuum in your hands? Freeze! You see that with stunt doubles. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I want to ask all of you, who here has had a shitty job? Just like five, okay, oh. um, what, what was your shitty job? I was a bagger. A bagger? Uh, what are the shitty jobs that we have? Yeah? Starbucks what? barista. Starbucks barista, well, yes. I was a bagger. McDonald's cashier. I sold knives to housewives. Come on, Ricky <laughs> now! expensive knives to housewives. Okay, and um, how many knives did you sell? I actually sold two th ten thousand dollars of knives. Oh, this shit. Um, and so, like, what was your? Did you have like any special way? Like, did you like have a, a routine? Like, well, okay. Say? So I would call them up, say, "Hey, cheers, Ricky Down." So I could stop by and sell you some knives, and they'll be like, "Okay, then." Stop by in. I would give them the spiel. You know, we have black or white handles, like Michael Jackson out there. Uh, we have uh, what else? Are some of the other jokes I use. Okay, there was one knife that was very curvy. This was used for one watermelons, harder things. So I say that's like the Pam Anderson of knives. And um, what else? There were a lot of knives. They had the petrol peeler, which is for vegetables. Then Perfect. The and um, just real quick, did you have any like weird customers or any funny stories, like anything that happened to you that was out of the ordinary while you were selling knives? Well, one time they asked me to do a presentation, so I did it as Voldemort. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to show the magic that you can get from connecting with the uh, customer. And you did this, wait, so you were doing this to other salesmen? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were like, Ricky, we want you to talk at the presentation. So I took out my Gryffindor scarf and my Voldemort wand and be like, you need to connect magically with the audience and other things of variety because, you know, you need to work on rapport and things of that matter. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but I think it works. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Um, you can take a seat now. Um, so now, we're going to perform a series of scenes based off of uh, Ricky's job. So that's what this is. All right. Let's do two sides. Okay, we have two sides. Cool. Ha, uh, thank you for coming. Very interested in the knives. As I was speaking to you on the phone, I believe you said they could cut through steak, pennies, and split a hair. Now my question for you, how easily do they penetrate cheating flesh? <laughs> do, you, do you mean like, like synthetic flesh, like on a prosthetic arm I or mean, something? Or like... If you 
say your vows in Hawaii. <laughs> a woman you've known since elementary school. I'm saying, what should I do? So what oh, is my next course so like, of action? So like to cut the wedding cake, like in Hawaii when you're, when you're getting married. You I'm know. saying, if I go on a long weekend vacation with the girls and come home and find panties that meat size is too big for me, what am I supposed to do? Um, well, we, we also do hibachi. Right? Um, we have, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I'm, I'm grasping the intended um, use of, of the product. You're not grasping at the fact that my husband comes home at 8.45 from where? A harlot's house. Okay. I believe that <laughs> freshly sharpened knives to greet him into the home I built for us! <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> How was yoga? your presence because I have a surprise for you. Yeah. It will be under the covers. Please make sure you go to your side of the bed. If you come to my side of the bed, why it won't necessarily work the way I want it to. Yeah. Yeah. Don't touch me with your giant sausage fingers. <laughs> Person? In the flesh. I'm very frightened. Very fr I've not been reaching quota for many, many, many weeks now. And I'm really, I'm really nervous. Literally, I might puke. Right? I, I'm right there with you, pal. If you want to just, like, grab a trash can. Oh, you want to ditch it? You just want to skip it? We can do that, right? We don't need We're to be here. There are tons like of jobs that you can get in Long super Island. worried about this meeting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you heard too, right? <laughs> You have nothing to be worried about. You reach quota every single week. Yeah, yeah. But you know what I did the other day? I made a really awkward snake reference that I think might, might be brought up in the well, I think it might be brought Never up. Never want to talk thing, about yeah. snakes. One time I was like, oh, this knife can cut through a snake. I felt my soul leave my body. I felt my soul leave my body. That's a deadly thing. Oh, dude, don't say that word. Man. No, like, death plant that in his mind. Death and eating together. Yeah, we're, we're not allowed to say negative things in the office. That's that's a fact. We just can't do it. Only uppers. Keep it up. Only, yep, yep. That's. I'm gonna go down some more Red Bull. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, my energy has not been primed. My, I yeah, feel my I lymph nodes are just going crazy. You know that? I <laughs> peed in his coffee. Okay, that's what I said. Yeah. The meeting is about. Your eye is twitching. So <laughs> Are you okay? It's something that happens when I get really nervous. It's just, it's a defect. Maybe I hear his sense of taste isn't that good. Maybe he won't be able to taste it. I don't know. I gotta spit it in my face afterwards because I was laughing and yeah, I think he threw it. Guys, out. there was a fresh pot of coffee in there. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Phenomenal. I think it's French vanilla. I think I should uh, go dump the coffee. You should probably leave. Just the, the state. <laughs> Maybe the country. Hey, who made this <laughs> coffee? <laughs> <laughs> um. Do I want the black one, or do I want the white one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with tight, tight spanks. <laughs> yes? I don't know if it's that kind of a party, Matilda. Oh. Any parties that don't let you seem a midriff party. <laughs> oh, God. Darn it, shoot! 
Shoot! You really let yourself go, Matilda. I have. <sighs> I hate high school reunions. I know. You were the one thing I had going for me, and you just got fired. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> he outsold me, Matilda. I can't be. Oh, because he has a wand. <laughs> sure. Because I... he has an owl. Okay. <laughs> he has the most expensive robes. We have nice things. <laughs> I just bought these spanks. You sit on them all and you break them with your big midriff. Come. <laughs> oh, it's you guys. Hi. <laughs> Look who's hey. here. Hey. Guess who just got voted number one knife salesman? This guy, this guy right here, hey. You still wear glasses. Down low. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> glasses are all part of the act. <laughs> Wizardly. I go with a different form, though, lighter and around the middle toward the heart. You know what I've found? Always gets them. Always gets the ladies in terms of the knives. <laughs> it's my Voldemort impression. They they can't get enough of it. I fucking hate him. I just <laughs> I, 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 do. I found I appeal to a certain fifty shades of gray mentality. Hey. Yes! Bingsley! How is it going? Up top? Down low. Uh, Why no, no, no. Oh. Have some dignity, Have some Bingsley! <laughs> <laughs> hearing your Voldemort impression, you know. I've, you've heard my Voldemort impression. Kathleen Bigsley, really, you I are a trollop. <laughs> if your mother were alive to see you today, she would weep. If any of your pets were alive, they would sob. And if, <laughs> if your father were alive, he'd probably eat a fucking cake because he was huge. <laughs> Oh, well, you're, ta you're talking to me about being insensitive? You, you Were you specifically me. directed not at him? Because I found it insensitive as well. Sort of oh, both of you. Was it both of us? Will this calm us? things down? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was Don't! phenomenal. No! <laughs> so how was your first day? Uh, you know, it was, um, it was, uh, it was fucking awful. It was really unbelievable. You just got bad. the job the other day. It's, you know, it's only training week. You know, sometimes things just have to take time. You get in the swing of things. You get the schedule. You get to meet fellow employees. Can I, can I run something by you? This is just, this is okay. just something that's All been right. going. Right. I, I, I sold some knives to this lady. And I, I feel like maybe her intentions weren't necessarily pure. <laughs> like, what I, she would. Like? Well, I, I, I think she, she's... I, I think maybe... Is this a woman in our neighborhood? Yeah. This is that woman. <laughs> Thank you for visiting me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I did not think that you would come. Um, it was, it was, it's, it's been a while, hasn't it? How, how are you faring? I want to think, it's a lovely women's prison. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I like the, 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 the beige, the walls. It's, it's, it's um, calming. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so much again for all you did for me because you changed my life and you ruined another person's life and I hope that you feel good about yourself. <laughs> See, I, I was actually kind of hoping to, to talk to you about that because I, I don't really know who else to talk to about that. Oh, please talk to me. I have nobody else to talk to. My best friend Marge just got sent away. Oh, is she? Is she the... Psych ward! No. <laughs> I saw someone in the psych ward who was doing that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Am I at fault here? Like, should I be where you are? I just ethically, I don't know. I mean, I, I, well, you can't come in here. It's a women's prison. But I yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know. How was I supposed to know that you were you were gonna? I told you five times. <laughs> but I thought it was a prosthetic thing, and there was the wedding cake thing. It could have been anything. It could have been hibachi. It wasn't hibachi. It was my husband's heart. <laughs> I really thought you were gonna make hibachi. I wish that I had. Me too. Do you want to, when I get out of here, go to a Benihana? That'd be really nice, actually. That'd be really nice. I sell knives to Benihana. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>